are, Mr. Brown. Hush! Don't you hush me. Miss Courtney, I'm in terrible trouble. You certainly are. You're ten minutes late. No, 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 no. Worse than that, I've lost 230 pounds that Ranjit gave me to look after. Well, how on earth did you manage to do that? Well, I've no idea. It must have fallen out of my pocket. I've looked everywhere. I went to the police station to ask if anyone had handed it in, and they just laughed. I mean, what am I going to tell Ranjit? The truth, Mr. Brown. You had better do it in private. You can use my office. I will send him to you. Well, <laughs> I suppose the direct approach will be best. Ranjit, I have lost your money. Uh, no, no, I can't do that. It's too harsh. Gotta soften the blow a bit. Ranjit, come in. Uh, have a seat. Would you like a cup of tea? No, no. Ranjit, I have something to tell you. Are you sitting comfortably? Oh, no. I'm standing. <laughs> oh, uh, Ranjit, come in. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. There isn't any tea. Ah, well, I, well I'll get you one. Miss Courtney said you had something to tell me. Yes, Ranjit, I am human. <laughs> and you are human. And human beings are fallible. I mean, I'm fallible and you're fallible. No, I'm Ranjari. <laughs> no, 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 what I'm trying to say, Ranjit, is... Well, I have lost your money. Did you hear me? The, the money you saved up to go and visit your mother with it, but I've, I've lost it. <laughs> Ranjit! <laughs> I'm sorry, Ranjit. Good evening. Hello, Sid. What's the matter? You look as if you lost £100 and found ten p. There's many a true word spoken in jest. Oh, come on. Cheer up. Have a cigar. No, thanks. Can't be as bad as all that. It's worse. Well, look at me yesterday, I didn't have eight me. Today I can have a tenner on horse and take no notice. You couldn't lend me £230, could you? No chance. Oh. That's all there was in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> what envelope? The envelope I found outside of school. You see me! Talk to me! That was Ranjit's money. Have you still got it? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Why didn't you hand it in? Hey, hey, wait, what are you doing? Ranjit, we found your money. Oh! <laughs> Oh, praise be to the Lord. I'm never to be seeing my mother. Oh, she'll be so happy to be seeing me. <gasps> There's only 130 pounds in here. That's right. Oh, well, where's the other hundred? Oh, here it is here. What is that? That's a betting slip. I've had under pound on Rainbow's End in the 6.15 at the night race at Windsor. <laughs> 6.15, we can still make that. Come on, everybody, quickly. Mr. Brown, what is going on? Ah, we're just taking an early tea break um, in the betting shop. The 6.15 at Wimber. The horses are lining up for the start. And they're off. Come on, Rainbow Z! And right away, it's Ernie's boy in the lead, followed by Death Delight, Golden Wonder and Skylark. Then comes Southern Peacock and Slimline. Where is Rainbow's end? And bringing up the rear is Rainbow's end. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the order at the bend. With Depth Delight closing a little and Skylark now overtaking Golden Wonder. Southern Peacock is dropping back. And who is this coming through on the inside? Rainbow's end? Slimline. <laughs> <laughs> and as they come into the straight, it's still Ernie's boy, Depth Delight and Skylark. And here's Rainbow's end taking a run on the outside. <laughs> and with four furlongs to go, it's Ernie's boy, Depth Delight and Rainbow's end now in <laughs> Russian horse. <laughs> Rainbow's end's been disqualified for bumping and placed last. We are so losing and I won't be able to be visiting my mother. Oh, oh poor Ranjit. He was so much looking forward to seeing his mother. He will see his mother. 
But Master G, he was going to be catch plane on Saturday. How will he be get 100 pound before then? Oh, we'll get it for him, even if we have to beg, borrow, or steal it. Yes. 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 Four wives and six nieces. <laughs> <laughs> please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You want a photograph? Very cheap. Three for one pundle. Buy <laughs> pretty flock for your pretty wife? No, thanks. You want to buy flock for pretty wife? Oh, no, thanks, Jackie. <laughs> Shushini, Shushini, thank you, please. Come on, Shushini. Have your fortunes told by Madame Jamila. Come on, young man, would you like to your fortune told? Now sit down there. Madame Jamila, tell this young man's fortune. Please do cross my bound with 50p. <laughs> money for Mr. Singh's fare. Yes, you'll be at the airport now. How is he going? By plane or balloon? <laughs> oh, you heard about that. Yes. yes. If that caretaker hadn't been on the roof to catch my legs, heaven knows where I'd be now. <laughs> where you usually are, Mr. Brown, with your head in the clouds. <laughs> Good evening, uh, Carl. Well, firstly, may I say thank you for all your efforts yesterday to help raise the fare for Ranjit. Oh. No, 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 it was a remarkable effort, which is more than I can say for your homework. Oh. I am not happy with your answers. And we are also not happy with the questions. <laughs> I've got an idea. You're not happy, we're not happy. So if you not give us any homework, we both be happy. I'll be happy. <laughs> Silence. Look. In future, you will be given extra homework, and I hope that I see some improvement. Some of you are just simply not trying. For example, Max. The opposite of anti-meridian is not Uncle Meridian, but post-meridian. <laughs> OK. You know what you're laughing about, Giovanni? Your answer to the question, write a sentence using a metaphor, was unbelievable. But I did write a sentence using a metaphor. Oh, yes. Last night, I phoned my girlfriend and a metaphor a drink. <laughs> For yes, your please. information, a polygon is a term used to describe a figure with angles and sides and has nothing whatsoever to do with the disappearing parrot. <laughs> Brown, this lady wants to have a word with you. Ah, a new pupil. Would you like to sit over there? No, sit. Look for Ranjit. Ah, well, I'm afraid he's not here. He's gone over this weekend to visit his mother as a surprise for her birthday. Hi, Rabba. That is terrible. Why, what's the matter? I am his mother. Yes. I am his mother. <laughs> For my birthday to surprise Ranjit. You're a guy. Oh, you must have crossed. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.